How to make a wedding website on Canva Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a wedding website on Canva. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. But before that, if you don't know what is Canva, it is a versatile online design platform that enables users to create a wide range of visual content from social media graphics and presentations to poster and documents with ease, in which it offers an intuitive drag and drop interface and vast library of templates, images, icons, and fonts make it accessible to both design professionals and also for beginners, which the platform offers a free version with extensive features, while its premium subscription Canva Pro provides advanced functionality such as an access to a broader asset library with the ability to create brand kits and additional collaboration tools. And to create an account on Canva, you can also use my affiliate link below the description where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. And now from here, after signing in, you will be able to be directed on this page. Then from here, just click the search bar on this Canva and kindly search for wedding website. And upon clicking enter, you will be able to see here all of their sold of wedding website template, in which it will show you a variety of templates that you can choose with here for pro version and also for free version. But since we're using a free version, we're just going to filter it by clicking all filters button right here. And then on the left side panel, just proceed by scrolling down until you find the option of pricing for free. But you could also navigate some other filters in here if you want to, and just proceed by clicking the apply button below here. And upon clicking on it, it will show you in here some of the templates that is offered for free. So all you need to do is to simply choose what kind of templates do you want to customize in here. So for instance, in all of these template options, I'm going to choose this one. So kind of click on it, then it will show you on this pop-up window the preview about this template and just proceed by clicking customize this template to proceed. Then you will be able to be directed on this page right here, where we can start customizing some of the elements it contain of this template using the editing tools that we can find on the left side panel. We have here design, elements, text, brand, uploads, and many more. And to start editing this template, let's say we're going to change this image by simply selecting this image right here, by clicking on it and clicking on the left side panel uploads if you want to upload an image that we want to replace in here. By clicking on this upload, we can simply choose an image from our media files or video if we want to. Or alternatively, you could also choose some other images or photos that is offered under these elements right here. By clicking these elements, on the search bar of it, you can simply enter the kind of images or photos that you want, or the photos that you're looking for. Let's say I'm going to enter here couple, and upon clicking enter on your keyboard, below here it will show you by clicking these photos, all of the images that you could also choose from to change the image in here. And to change, you could simply drag and drop the chosen image that you want to replace with. And now as you can see, we have now successfully changed the image in here. Now moving on for this context, by simply highlighting this context, we can enter the context that we prefer. For instance, I'm going to enter here Romeo and Juliet. So basically, aside from customizing the images, we could also customize the context it contained or even delete some of the elements it contain of this template. And also change the position of this context if you want to. And aside from that, we could also change the background. But before that, if you also want to change the font style of this text, just kindly select it and on the top left corner, just choose some of the font style that is available in here. And as you can see in here, by simply selecting to any font style, you'll be able to see here that the font has now been changed. Or you could also make this context to make it bold, italic if you want to or even change the color of this text. On this left side panel, you could also change or choose some of the color palette in here to change the color of your context. And now moving on for the background by clicking on this background and clicking on this color box. On the top left corner, we'll be able to see here all of the colors that we can choose from in order to change the color of our background in here. We can choose either photo colors or even the default colors that are available in here. So let's say I'm going to stick with this one. Now moving on, aside from that, if you scroll down, we could also change some other details for the wedding website that we're creating. For instance, by simply highlighting all of this text, we're going to replace this to the context that says about the couple. And from here, we could also select this context right here by highlighting all of this and also customizing this one. And also by selecting the background, we can simply choose from this color palette, the color default that we prefer, but I'm just going to keep it that way. And aside from that, from here, if you also want to add a frame for image, you can simply go to the elements section. And from here, just click on the elements on the search bar, the frame. 
and upon searching on it below here it will show you a variety of frames, photos, graphics that you can simply choose. But in those option, just proceed by clicking the frames instead of graphics or photos. Then below here you can simply choose the kind of frame that you prefer. And by simply dragging it to our Canva, it will show you that we have now successfully added this frame on our template. And let's say we're going to add an image in here where you can upload from your computer files. But at this point, I'm just going to search under this element for couple photos. Then just simply drag the photo in our frame. And after that, you will now see here that the photo has now been added in our frame and now included in our website. And aside from that, below here, you could also customize some other details, including the time and date in here, the address or venue of the wedding, and any other details that you want to input in here. And now let's say you want to add a context. So just proceed by going on the left side panel and click text. In which from here you can simply choose to add heading, subheading, or even this kind of text box. By clicking a subheading, from here you will be able to see here that you can simply enter a kind of context that you prefer. So for instance, I'm going to enter here sample text. Then we can simply change the location of this context if you want to by dragging it to change the location of it in our website. And aside from this context or subheading, below here you could also use some other font combinations that are available on this page and offer for free if you want to. And now aside from images and context that we also customize and other elements that we add, we could also customize our templates or website using the design section on the left side panel. By simply clicking on it, we could also change the templates, the layouts, and style depending on our preferences on this page. We can see a variety of layouts that you can choose. Well, for the styles, it will show you other color palettes for your website to apply and you can simply choose by clicking on these color palettes if you want and it will show you in this page that the color of the context has been changed but if you're now done customizing or editing your wedding website we can now proceed by publishing it or by clicking the publish button on the top right corner in which upon clicking on it it will show us below here that we could also resize on our mobile and also even include the navigation menu and if we scroll down below here it will show us this website URL that we could also customize if you want to. And after that, just proceed by clicking the publish website button below here to proceed. And after that, we've now successfully published or created our wedding website in Canva, in which this kind of website serves as an efficient way to share crucial information with guests, including the event schedule, venue details, accommodation options, and directions. So that is just basically how you can make a wedding website on Canva. Thank you.